В тридевятом царстве, в некотором государстве, жили-были людоед и прекрасная принцесса. Однажды они повстречались и полюбили друг друга. Не гони коней, кучер! Я Алистер. Алистер? Это еще что за имечко? Тебя, небось, в школе дразнили? Я рассказываю сказку. Тогда ты рассказываешь неверно. Вот смотри, как надо. Жили-были людоед, принцесса и благородный, миловидный, великолепный осел. Прошу прощения, ослата я и позабыл. Итак, однажды людоед и принцесса повстречались и полюбили друг друга. Со слом. Злые силы пытались их разлучить, но, как сказано в сценарии, любовь все победит. И они не оглянуться не успели, как поженились, и букет был очень вкусный. И после долгого медового месяца они вернулись домой, где их ждал вездесущий, надоедливый и до отвращения верный спутник и товарищ осел. Хм, Алистер. И вот они приехали в далекое-далеко. Родителям Фионы очень хотелось увидеть, как же выглядит их новый зять. Надо ли говорить, что Шрек не оправдал их ожиданий? О, это надолго. Эй, если бы люди хотели почитать, они бы книжку купили. Ладно, ладно. Короче, Шрек с королем за обедом принялись друг друга оскорблять. И этим расстроив Фиону. И тут вдруг появилась крестная фея. Знаешь что, Алистер, давай теперь я. Она типа, ах ты опять будешь красавицей, только выйди замуж за моего сыночка, прекрасного принца. А Фиона, конечно, ни в какую. И знаешь почему? Ответ прост. Шрек. Слушай, что эта ведьма делает? Она же идет короля пугать. А на следующее утро король пригласил Шрека на охоту. Но это была ловушка. И это, конечно, сразу почуял неладное. Поэтому решил на всякий случай увязаться следом. И вот наши герои, не прочитав, что написано на бутылочке мелким шрифтом, уснули. На следующее утро оказалось, что зелье навеки счастливо все-таки сработало. Да еще как! Пусть крестная фея и ведьма на шпильках, но в колдовских средствах она здорово разбирается. Алистер, я же тебе сказал, побыстрей! Думаешь, они тебя весь день слушать будут? Так, позволь, я вмешаюсь. Новый облик приобрели не только Шрек с Фионой. В их компании был еще один прекрасный, благородный жеребец. Спасибо. И вот Шрек превратился в прекрасного принца, а принцесса вновь стала красива. Это, конечно, не понравилось крестной феи. Она-то сама хотела заделаться Фиониной свекровью, но и заставила короля послать людей нас арестовать. На экране тюрьма, скобки закрываются. О, -о, -о нет, это не надо было читать. И вот... Людоед и принцесса наконец-то вновь обрели друг друга. Шрек и Фиона опять были вместе, а крестная фея была побеждена, так что все вновь вернулись к своему настоящему облику. И свадебный бал пошел по заранее утвержденному плану. Фейерверк длился всю ночь и было очень весело. На этом... Конец. Пока. Если у вас проблемы, приходите в зелье для веселья крестной. Мы вам с радостью поможем. Предлагается жабья вода Кваква. Ваши враги заквакают. Сонный газ, седьмой сон. Вы еще не спите, тогда мы идем к вам. Может вызвать головную боль и утрату конечности. Или пусть врага захватит дух от ароматизатора под ядрёвый. У вас большие проблемы, уменьшите их. Пыльца для мальца. Подарок двухпроцентный глаз ящерицы. Не успели побриться, недовольны своей внешностью, вам нужен крем невидимка. Новая упаковка, видимый флакон. И не станем забывать наше самое популярное зелье. Один глоток приворотного зелья очаровашка растопит самое ледяное сердце. Запасы ограничены, спешите сделать заказ. Не зря меня зовут Крестная Фея. Посетите ближайший центр продаж зелья для веселья Крестной Феи. Крестная Фея, нет проблем. Все изображения, слоганы и каламбуры в данной рекламе, копирайт ЗАО Крестной Феи, а также общество за переизбрание короля Гарольда. Осел, мы вернулись. Так скоро? Что же во имя всех королевских лошадей здесь произошло-то? Что произошло? Я тебе скажу, что тут произошло. Черт, что тут произошло? Вот что тут произошло. Смотри! Солдаты опять пытались арестовывать волшебных существ. Представляешь себе? Шрек, этот плакат надо взорвать. Надо защищать своих друзей. И еще, Шрек, плакаты это еще не главное. Ты только глянь, монеты прямо в воздухе. Их надо все собрать, они нам понадобятся. Тут они тоже повсюду. Вон там, вон тут, в воздухе. А еще их и в ящики попрятали. А вот, глянь, если прыгнуть на кувшинку, вау, то она тебя подбросит. А 
А еще в воздухе есть чистая энергия. Пища героя. Зачем они тут? В том смысле, что вкус у них как у мазута. Но если ты их съешь, то полон сил. Э, но все же... Ну да, энергетическая пища героя. Почувствуй себя героем. Герои потребляют их с... <как> с прошлого года. Странно все-таки, что они прям просто так в воздухе висят. У меня от этого мурашки по шкурке. А еще мы едем далеко-далеко на ваш свадебный бал. Наши что? На ваш свадебный бал. Приглашение принесли, пока вас не было. Я что не сказал? Но мы не можем уехать, пока ты не разберешься со всем этим. Да ладно, поехали. Не трать зря время. Нас ведь ждет свадебный бал. Вперед, мой друг, вперед! Ладно, наверное, надо собираться. Эй, и еще одно. Осел! Прибраться мне вообще-то некогда было. Все время что-то звонкое такое отвлекало. Осел! Да ладно, Шрек, не придирайся к деталям. Тебе надо просто сорвать тот плакат и все, и еще прихватить все монетки по дороге. В далеком далеком нам деньжата пригодятся, так что давай собери их все, сколько есть. Гляди, гляди, четырехлистный клевер. Только отсюда ты его не сможешь достать. Ладно, успеется. Меня зовут Рой. Я фея сохраненных игр. Если ты меня увидишь, подбеги ко мне, и я сохраню твою игру. Правда волшебно. Сломай эти доски и возьми клевер четырехлистный. Обычно они во всяких тайных местах растут, и достать их непросто. Но зато как достанешь, так у тебя столько здоровья появится. Глядишь, Рэк, тут окошко, как в Макдональдсе. Подходишь и покупаешь зелье, какое хочешь. Они теперь повсюду. Рекламу видел? Ага, Ой, вот этот мерзкий плакат. Я тебе говорил о нем. Нажми левую кнопку мыши, чтобы содрать его. Пусть ни одного не останется. Поговаривают, что кто сорвет три таких плаката, получит награду. Эй, надо тебе коллекцию собрать. Глядишь, когда-нибудь за них что-нибудь дадут. Получилось, Шрек, все опять как прежде. Кто заказывал карету? Неужели я не глумучил их? Я заказала. Далеко и далеко, очень далеко. Все собрано, можно ехать. Готов к дороге? Ой, наверное. Не волнуйся, ты им понравишься. О, да, Шрек, они тебя полюбят. В смысле, я люблю. А чего же не любить? <свист> мы едем в путешествие, мы едем в путешествие. Что может быть веселее, чем долгое, долгое, долгое путешествие вместе со мной? <свист> Зубы сверлить? Или волосы из носа по одному выдергивать? Ну что, приехали? А теперь? Да я так пошутил. А если серьезно, приехали? Знаешь, о чем я думаю? Нам бы надо рок-группу сколотить. Да, кстати, а кто принес трубу? Шрек, не засада ли тут пахнет? Вообще-то это мог быть и я. Вспоминается до приглашения на свадьбу. <как> Извини. Осел! Прости, Шрек. Эй, глянь, он наше колесо стащил. Пойду-ка я гляну. Шрек, не ходи туда. Ты же слышал, что она сказала? Там засада. <как> не боись, осел. Я же людоед. Ежели ты только не знаешь чудовище, которое могло стащить наше колесо. Не, ступай, найди наше колесо. И поскорей. А насчет деревьев они все время падают. Ничего с тобой не случится. Разбойники! Шрек, я помогу! Нет, не бросай меня, пожалуйста! Мне тут будет так страшно! К тому же Шрек все сделает. Смотри, чтобы сделать удар, надо щелкнуть левой кнопкой мышь. Если разбойник тебя ударит, то слямзит у тебя монетку. Ударив его в ответ, ты сможешь а! вернуть монетку. А? Получилось же! Колесо надо вернуть, а то мы ехать не сможем. О, Шрек, ты им задал! Я! Где этим разбойникам с тобой тягаться? Сначала было бах, потом бабах, а потом я ног не чувствую, я ног не чувствую. Так, колесо на месте. Ну что, продолжим наше чудесное путешествие. Эй, Шрек, что-то у тебя лицо малость позеленело. На, попробуй-ка это. Может, мы потом еще таких найдем? О, тут нам не проехать! Деревья, Шрек! Может, кто еще попробует помешать мне? Видишь, Ой. из каждой ситуации есть выход. Знаешь, деревья эти сухие, растрескавшиеся, наверняка ты сможешь по ним вломить и как пробьешь там дорогу. Давай, здоровяк! Вот это называется мертвый лес. Далекая, далекая, вот и мы! На всех четырех колесах! Ай... Приехали. Где же все? 
Обожаю охоту. Только где же они все? Не знаю. Король сказал, мол, под деревом встретимся. А, ну конечно, под деревом. Ну, это будет несложно. В лесу всего-то 4 миллиона деревьев. Этих деревьев дурацких тут столько, что я за ними леса не вижу. Где-то он тут должен быть, наверное. У тебя бывает такое чувство, как будто за тобой следят. О, что это было? Знаешь, осел, я думаю, что тут в лесу вряд ли есть кто-то страшнее людоеда. Людоеды? Где? А. Эй, есть тут кто? Теперь-то я точно что-то видел. Так, так, так. Кто тут? Так, так. Очень смешная игра в напугая осла. Пойду-ка я проверю, в чем тут дело. Ты ступай, я тебя догоню. А если короля увидишь, скажи, что я скоро буду. Ладно, но только ненадолго, а то еще перепугаешься без меня. Я просто пойду все дальше и дальше в этот темный страшный лес. Ведь я отважный, благородный осел. Что это было? Слушай, взгляни на эти тыквы. Подходи к ним и щелкай левой кнопкой мыши. Ты их поднимешь. А потом еще раз щелкай, их надо метать, пока они не взорвались. Похоже, что единственный способ опустить мост – легнуть вон ту веревку. Может, того типа можно выговорить мне помочь? Ха! Вообще-то жареные ослиные уши – это вкусно! Может и нет. Теперь, я полагаю, самое время применить приворотное зелье. Или хоть какое-нибудь. Есть зелье, нет зелья, мне все равно надо туда допрыгнуть и сбить веревку. Для осла, у которого черный пояс по нажиманию кнопок, один враг не враг. Эта соломка тут специально, чтобы мягче падать. Бесплатная еда. Я думаю, это очень удачное и нисколько не подозрительное совпадение. Потому что я такой голодный, что думать как следует не могу. Жаль, что Шрека нет. Вот бы ему тоже. Это то, что надо. А -а -а, Шрек, на помощь! Меня поймали! Я так и знал. Бесплатный сыр только в мышеловке. М -м, я сел. Что ты там натворил такое? Во что вляпался? Ох, как я рад тебя видеть. Спасибо, Шрек. Необычно, правда? Не я тебя спасаю. Ты не мог бы головой подумать, а не животом своим. Хоть на пять секундочек. Подряд? Ой, Шрек, ты меня переоцениваешь. Ну что, куда теперь? Сюда. Э, -э осел, ты бы не встал чуток подальше от ловушки? Да, спасибо. И как мне свою ослиную шкурку перетащить от этот берег? Тут с умом надо подойти. А? Ха-ха! Ну и здоровенная! Я так мыслю. На тыкву тыква нужна. Сейчас я из тебя пирог с тыквой сделаю. А вот! А? вот я горячился немного. Грибы с плоской шляпкой. Знаешь, мой дядя Кларенс как-то так и говорил. Я помню его слова, как будто это было вчера. Красные плохо, зеленые хорошо. Так что надо прыгать на них, когда не зеленый. Шрек, ты слышал? Тут тихо. Слишком тихо. Мамочка моя, Шрек! Анга! Это же пират! С хвостом и в галошах. Прошу прощения, я мушкетер. Меня зовут Кот в сапогах. Ты пират в галошах. Что? Эти сапоги мне очень идут. Итальянская кожа, не что-нибудь. Они подчеркивают мою... Хватит! Тебе конец. Готовься к смерти. О, что за славная битва? Просто фантастика, никто не поверит. А теперь, сеньор, готовьтесь к ледяному поцелую моей шпаги. Его по спине похлоптили, что? Все, он готов. Давай проверим. Попался? Ну и кто теперь тут главный? Сеньор, вы победили. Я смиренно ожидаю приговора. Шрек, сделай, как упросил. Пусть твоим приговором будет смерть. И я! Что? Нет, Асю. Я котят не обижаю. 
Ну, конечно. Да-да, ты ешь их на завтрак. Ты их наизнанку выворачиваешь и на голове носишь. Ты ненавидишь их? Ни Оп! за что. Они на вкус сальные. И шляпы из них кривые выходят. Да будет так. Тогда я должен стать твоим верным спутником. Подумай-ка еще разок. Место верного спутника занято. В уплату за мою бесценную легендарную жизнь. В конце концов, меня послали убить тебя. Послали? Кто послал? Король, конечно. Видишь, я же говорил, я говорил, рыжим котам никогда нельзя верить. Просто никогда. Почему уж так королю не нравится, чтобы мы с Фионой жили счастливо? Что ж, если все, что тебе нужно, это счастье, тебе стоит обратиться к крестной фей. Завод ее здесь, неподалеку. Позволь мне проводить тебя туда. Путь будет не слишком долгим. Ты знаешь, как туда попасть-то? Си, сеньор. Я много раз метил эту территорию. Счастье это глупости. Людоед? Откуда ты взялся? Эм, я бы навеки счастливый взял. Кот, он говорил, это самое... Людоеды не могут жить долго и счастливо. Уходи! Мне нужно зелье навеки счастливы. Да, кот в сапогах. Это было фавиофенно глупо. Ну и дама. Просто ведьма. Шрек, а тебе идет. Ну, спасибо тебе, Асио. А теперь пошли, больно уж тут нужно. Могу поспорить на вискас, то, что мы ищем, спрятано где-то в той комнате. Идти надо именно мне. Я намного ловчее, чем ты, гораздо умнее, чем осел, и могу пролезть в эту трубу. Верно, кот. Ты сможешь забраться по трубам и втиснуться в вентиляцию. А мы тут спрячемся, пока ты зелье отлично. А еще я там в комнате справа рубильник видел. Может, он дверь открывает? Эх, жалко, что ключа в кармане нету. Я вернусь с победой, и при том, как можно скорее. Эльфам не попадайся. Не буду. Я осторожней там. Так точно. И зеркала. Но нет, ты же не будешь отвлекаться на себя. Торопитесь! Это что, входит в наш план? Человек! Человек, я в ловушке! Осел! Нет, это в план точно не входило! Осел, придется тебе другой выход искать. Кажись, в главной лаборатории другой выход был. Увидимся! Выброс зелья боли через три, две, одну... Осел, наверх, давай, Осел, в окно! Mm, да. Кого нам за это благодарить, мистер Тайная Операция? Не кипятись, Осел, хватит нам на сегодня драк. Сейчас, я полагаю, был бы идеальный момент использовать зелье навеки счастливый. Ты ту бутылку взял, точно? Конечно, я уверен. Не знаю. А что, если у нас от этого чешуя появится или вторая голова вырастет? Тебе бы это пошло на пользу, а мы бы поняли, что зелье вполне работает. Хватит, я попробую. <звы> ну, счастливый у меня вид. Я попробую, сеньор, но вообще-то я и так воплощенное совершенство. Пожалуй, его можно испытать на... на осле. Кто? Кто? Я? О, 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 о. Страшно. Ослы ничего не боятся, понял? <звы> увы, опять увы. Простите, сеньор. Не получилось. Только эльфов зря разворошили. Возможно, после сна нам придет в голову план Б. Ну и где мы будем ночевать? Конюшня неподалеку, сразу за лесом. Что? Конюшня? Нет, ослы не живут в конюшнях. Нас ждет еще долгий путь, надо спешить. Только если ленивый мул не будет отставать. Ленивый мул? А ну иди сюда, мохнатый. Сейчас мы с тобой потягаемся, кто быстрей. Еха, я тебя обгоню. Спасибо, ребята, что подождали. Ой, может теперь я отдохнуть смогу. Ты что так долго? 
О, я по таким красивым местам прогулялся. С людьми интересными встретился. Жаль, вас не было. Ну да, как скажешь. Можно нам уже не стоять под дождем. Поверить не могу, что эта дурацкая серия не сработала. Неважно. Я еще найду способ Фиону отвоевать. Скажи, а эта твоя женщина того стоит? Она, она самый нежный, самый прекрасный цветочек на свете. Трудно представить, кто на свете может вынести такую лонь. Ты еще не знаешь Фиону. Шрек! Что? Это был кот. Клевета! Э, прости. Ну вот, мы и тут. Шрек, у меня клаустрофобия. Не могу же я всю жизнь провести в камере. В смысле, ты только взгляни. Тут темно, тут сыро, тут воняет. О, Шрек, по-моему, стены сжимаются. Да, сел, сжимаются. Смотрите, пожалуй, я бы мог протиснуться через решетку и найти какой-то способ открыть дверь. Ну вот, а я-то волновался. Фу, больше я за решеткой ни секунды не продержался бы. Я их задержу. Вы двое, прочь! Кот в сапогах не бежит от драки. Справишься? Нет, прости меня, друг. Что ж, пришло время расстаться. Пойдем другим путем. Точно, попробуй. Я хорошо выглядит, Шрек. Я в порядке, сел. Мне нужно еще кое-что сделать. Я тебя на выходе нагоню. Ой, же, ребят, перегрев. Извините, мистер Смешные Штанишки, не выйдет. Мне надо быть в другом месте. Ну хорошо. Что я умею, так это драться. Если хорошо выглядеть это преступление, можете меня арестовать. Фу, больше я за решеткой ни секунды не продержался бы. Я их задержу. Что ж, пришло время расстаться. Пойдем другим путем. Точно, попробуй. Шрак! Вот это ты! Обычно это мне вонять положено. Мне очень стыдно. Веселей, почти вылезли. О! О! Столь плохостый жулик. Я прошел слишком много, что меня задержал кто-то вроде тебя. Я не маленький котенок. Я их задержу. Вы двое, прочь! Вот, это ты! Обычно это мне вонять положено. Мне очень стыдно. Веселей, почти вылезли. Точно, ты это говорил. Хорошо выглядит, Шрек. Я в порядке, осел. Мне нужно еще кое-что сделать. Я тебя на выходе нагоню. Ты в этом уверен, Шрек? Не бри самому себе. Что? Это не Он защищается. Телеку показывают, что любовь это так просто. Привет, десерт! Вау, вау! А? Это не десерт, осел, это наше тайное оружие. Тайное оружие? Его для нас испек сдобный булочник. Помочь нам штурмовать замок. Штурмовать мог? Он из пряничного теста. С ванильной глазурью и с конфетными пуговками. <мех> Кто ж его бояться будет? А, точно, гигантский. Понял. Круто, ну круто же! Раз придет огромный злобный пьяник, Катапультом на стены унесем молочные заряды, К бою, братья, враг силен. Какие будут указания? Я возьму за дело. Какие приказы, Шрек? Давай разломаем ворота, заберем воду, а поставим ворота. Ворота разбей, откуда рыцари бегут. Эй, гляди! Ты трамвай подними, сможешь им мост опустить. 
Вперед, Фиона где-то здесь! Теперь надо найти, где тут бальный зал, и спасти Фиону. Итак, бальный зал. Сдается мне, в таких местах обычно устраивают свадебные балы. Там будут подружки невесты. За дело надо браться мне. Ждите здесь, прикройте тыл, а я пойду дорогу расчищу. Не прикасайся ко мне. Шрек! Ты! Упс, приглашение я забыл. Давай к фея потанцуем. Чувствуешь себя счастливой? Да, еще когда? Э, кажется, я стал красивее. Ты просто вернулся к своему начальному непривлекательному виду. Мяу, мяу, мяу. Вот посмотрим, кто будет в третьей серии Шрека. Может, я и осел, но и ты не лев. Так-то лучше. Фиона, вот и твой прекрасный принц. Его еще нет. Ты он. Как теперь насчет того, что ты мне обещал жить долго и счастливо? Newlywed fever continued to rise in the swamp, and dear Fiona couldn't be happier. Her parents invited her and Shrek to far, far away so they could meet the handsome man she married. While packing for their long journey, Shrek realized he still needed some essentials for the trip. Look, I don't want to be late. Then I need help collecting eyeballs. It'll be a long journey, and nobody wants to see me hungry. Why don't we just get some parfaits? You know, ones with whipped cream? Oh, I love whipped cream. Ogres eat nature, not parfaits. Grandma, it's me. I got the chickens for the soup. And I had help from my four new friends. Splendid. Now, if your friends will fetch me some blackbirds, I'll make them the best blackbird pie they ever tasted. Shrek's starving for some great pie, and an old shut-in wants to make it for him. But who will be able to bring home the blackbird? Fiona doll, it's your hero time! Well, it's been fun, guys! 
this, but I have a blind date. She might be my sugar cookie. Got room in the carriage? I've got a game to pitch in far, far away. And so, they came upon a dark, creepy forest. And as if that weren't reason enough to turn back, an evil witch flew above them. Seeing the carriage horses were enchanted, the wicked witch turned them back into mice, for witches need mice for their witchery. The wicked witch then left a trail of cheese, so the mice would be led to her doorstep and into her boiling pot, because she is really wicked. I could tell you some stories. We have been rudely turned back into mice. Yes, I can see that. No, you can't. By Jove, that smells like cheese. Great. Now we need another potion to turn them back. We'll never make it there. Relax. The Wicked Witch's place is that way. Excuse me. Wicked Witches, spooky trees, crazy mice on a lactose binge. We are doomed! Shut it, donkey. Now, how's this gate open? Who dares to stir the ground? Sorry, I can tell you put down roots here before. But if you could scooch to the side... Who has Donkey! Oh, right! My burrow left! To fall in. Up, get up here. Dragon and I flew in here. My fire breathing beauty. <laughs> the mice will be mine. Don't worry, we'll save Fiona. So a nervous Shrek waited to meet Fiona's parents, King Harold and Queen Lillian. Hoping to impress them, Shrek even remembered to trim his nose hairs. After that minor stumble, the King and Queen got along famously with Shrek, welcoming him with the tolerance, love, and affection usually reserved for pop stars and heads of state, or not. King Harold made it clear he wanted Fiona to marry Prince Charming and wasn't so fond of his fat, disgusting, nose-picking son-in-law. Shrek made it clear he loved Fiona and no pompous king was going to blatantly mock his ogre girth. Fiona and Queen Lillian were eventually able to break up the fight. The king was approached by Fairy Godmother, who was a powerful provider of happily ever afters, and a lot of people owed her favors. She makes offers you can't refuse and can make people disappear, literally. You understand where I'm going with this, right? Because she could leave me sleeping with the fishes if I said too much. And mirrors and fish don't mix. <laughs> Trust me. In the morning, tempers appeared to have cooled and King Harold offered to show our group around far, far away. Welcome to Far, Far Away. Fabulous shopping, great view, beautiful people. Why don't you make yourselves useful and be my deputies? Deputy Shrek, at your service, where you see this symbol, I need your help. Congratulations, Shrek. You're quite resilient. Fiona, why don't you show the others back to the castle? Curses! Plan B, then. Take the poison apple and hire an overkiller. 
After a long day of saving fried chicken, stopping an inner city riot, and helping a wannabe princess get her shopping done, our hero headed back to the king's castle for a good night's sleep. Poor Shrek's evening would take a turn for the worse as he stumbled across Fiona's childhood diary. A devastated Shrek spent the night reading about Princess Fiona's dream of marrying a handsome prince with washboard abs, a chiseled chin, impeccable hygiene, in short, the anti-Shrek. Tired of being green and feeling ugly, Shrek decided to take a walk in the woods as his friends tried to cheer him up. Now, people, ready for mercy from Puss in Boots. One life down, eight to go. Well, you've been a bad little kitty. Please, do not terminate me. I can take you to the Grand Fairy Magic. She is the answer to all your problems. And so, hoping to solve Shrek's problems, our gang moved forward to Fairy Godmother's house, which was known for two things, its pre-war colonial charm and the impossibility of getting inside without an appointment. The only appointments today are Ms. Hood and a package from Jack and Jill's farm. Oh, I have an idea. We can intercept that package from the farm. Better yet, we can go to the farm and get the package. Yeah! Focus, focus. Pumpkins, focus. Come to life. Cause some strife. Uh, Shrek, do these pumpkins look a little funny to you? Donkey, they're just pumpkins. <laughs> Looks like the elevator's stuck. An act of death-defying danger? Wet, narrow ledges that could lead to a horribly gruesome death? This sounds like a job for a true swashbuckling hero. Puss in Boots, come on down! You're the next contestant on Hero Time! And so, our heroes found themselves overlooking miles of rolling farmland. For it seems the water Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch had magical properties. Despite Jack's broken crown and a possible skull fracture, he and Jill realized organic farming could make them a lot of gold. And they were right. Because really, who doesn't like a nice, juicy, all-natural salad the size of a dragon? A really fat dragon. I mean, seriously, look at those carrots. That's a big salad. Hey, you are Jack and Jill? No, we are taking care of this place as Jack and Jill are on vacation. Yeah, but we are not so good. We are lazy and pig out all day. Can you help us with some chores? Only if one of those chores includes delivering the package to Fairy Godmother's house. You've got a deal. Just walk around the farm and look for one of us to get another chore. Thank you for fixing the farm. Jack would have made chops out of us if you didn't help. Yeah. Now takes us to live to Fair Godmother. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna stay behind and get some flour. It is. And so, Shrek finally got a chance to ask the Fairy Godmother for a happily ever after potion. But he didn't just ask her. He showed her why he deserved one. He showed her everything from gadgets to gadgets, a graph, a pie chart, and a pie to go with it. He showed her numbers, statistics, blind jabbits, and widgets. He even showed her a couple of midgets. But the fairy godmother told him ogres aren't allowed to have happily ever afters. And so, her answer was... No! And now, ogre, you must go. Hey guys, I got my potion! Well, apparently ogres don't get happily ever afters. We should just go in there and take it. I know where the potions are. Follow me! You! Run! I'll hold her off! 
The fairy godmother is one angry pixie and only Lil' Red and her basket of apples can clip her wings. I think we all know what that means. Yep, it's hero time. I'm Little Red, not Black Good and Blue. Good job, but she'll be back, you know. And usually the coming back is followed by the evil spell casting, which is only fun if you want to spend the rest of your life a toilet brush. You might want to get back and help Shrek. Wonderful. You're all back together. Now I can turn you all into rancid rump roast. I will defend us from this even witch. Kitty, she'll take five of your lives. Let's get out of here. Okay, we are safe here. It does sense us, this things. Yeah, you couldn't sense a bowl of milk if you were sitting in it. <laughs> I will chop you into oh, salt. Get you, Shrek. Ha ha ha! Okay, let's get out of here and make sure the potion works. No one knew what the potion would do. After Donkey did a taste test, Shrek chugged the potion, hoping it contained a happily ever after for him and Fiona. Nothing happened, at least at first. But then... In the middle of the rainy night, something unexpected happened. Shrek and Donkey underwent a massive transformation. Shrek was as handsome as a prince, and Donkey his noble steed. Things seemed to be going great as the gang said thanks and goodbye to Lil Red for now. But... After Shrek drank her potion, Fairy Godmother knew her son, Prince Charming, had a handsome rival for Fiona's affection. So she made sure he was locked away in the deepest, darkest dungeon of a faraway prison where no escape was possible. What Fairy Godmother didn't count on was Shrek's friends finding out about his arrest through a concerned and extremely benevolent third party. So a jailbreak was planned, one that would most certainly test the fellowship of this thing. Alright, listen up! No. The mice will sneak into the warden's office and get the keys to free the boy! But they're blind. <laughs> Pardon you! Alright, alright! Oh, I guess we get pork chop and covers! Tell me no help! Oh, here they are, just hanging around. Come on, Wolf, no time to spare. We gotta get back to Far Far Away before the fat lady sings. How are we gonna get them out of there? Dressed for bed, but ready for action, Big Bad Wolf! What? I know, I know, it's hero time. <laughs> yes, well, Wolf, your hero time is full of fabulous prizes and the key to free your pals. But in order to free your pals, you must survive the Staircase of Doom! Get ready for Hero Time! The only thing now standing between Shrek and Far Far Away was Mount Grimm, known amongst mountaineers as the heaping ginormous mound o rubble o death Big Bad Wolf, claiming to have been a Big Bad Sherpa in his puppyhood, knew a shortcut. <laughs> Why go over a mountain when you can go through it? And remember, if Shrek and the bunch don't move fast, Prince Charming will kiss our unsuspecting Fiona, and Shrek will lose Fiona forever. Our special charge will get us through! Lostness, oh saintness, she's alive! Yeah! Not so fast! Fiona will marry Prince Charming, and you can all take a dirt nap. Touch 
trees. You may have stopped me this time, but I'll get you. Now on to far, far away, and my fair, fair Fiona. Handsome and the crew made their way to far, far away. They arrived to find Gingerbread Man brought a little friend. Well, okay, a big friend. Unbeknownst to the crew, Gingerbread Man had whipped up a monstrous cookie creation to help defeat Fairy Godmother. Unfortunately, his weapon of mass destruction turned out to be a mass of doughy devastation. Help! Knights are attacking the giant cookie but destroying the city! Only you can put out the fire. We'll take care of this. Great. I'm going on a porch, but meet me at the crooks when you're done. Go! Get him! Well, things were about to get ugly. If Shrek and Fiona didn't kiss before midnight, they would be transformed back into ogre form. But what do you know? Those crazy kids decided to go for the ugly. Love can make you do some pretty strange things. <laughs> if you don't like awkward kissing scenes, then turn your head. Now that's more like it. You're beautiful. And you are truly handsome, Shrek. Oh no! Why? 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 Um, I think my carriage is double parked. You're not going anywhere, you incompetent little toad. Serve it! Hey, Toots! My father like that? I will never marry your son. Looks like we got our happily ever after without your help. Guess you underestimated us. The only thing I underestimated were trolls and elves. If you want something evil and right, you have to do it your evil son. How about this for your happily ever after? What's the matter? Not a troll fan. To the trees, whatever. That's it. I'm sending you straight to the glue factory. What do you know? I can be beaten. I'm gonna need a whole box of tissue. No first thing the world go wrong. Well, Shrek and Fiona got their happily ever after, after all. Now put down the controller and go outside to play. We're done. Really, it's over. That is all, uh, folks. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived an ogre and a beautiful princess. One day, the ogre and the lady met, and they fell in love. Whoa, back it up there, Chauncey. It's Alistair. Alistair? <laughs> what kind of name is that? You must have got kicked a lot at school. I am trying to tell a story. Well, you telling it wrong. Look here. Once upon a time, there was an ogre, a princess, and a noble, handsome, gorgeous donkey. Oh, excuse me for forgetting the donkey. <clears throat> so, one day the ogre and the lady met, and they fell in love. With the donkey. Evil forces tried to come between them, but as the script here says, love conquers all. And before they knew it, they was hitched. The bouquet was delicious. 
They return home from a long honeymoon to find their faithful friend, their ever-present constant companion, an irritatingly loyal donkey pal awaiting their arrival. Alistair! <laughs> Donkey, we're back! So soon! What in the name of all the king's horses has been going on around here? What's been going on? I'll tell you what's been going on. All kinds of crazy things have been going on, that's what. Get a load of this. Soldiers are trying to arrest the fairy tale creatures again. Can you believe it? We've gotta rip this poster down, Shrek. Man, we gotta protect our friend. And Shrek, these posters ain't half of it. Look at this! Coins just floating in the air! And you gotta pick them all up, man. We're gonna need all the coins we can get. They're all over the place, too. Over here, over there, up in the air. There's some even hidden in the crates. And look at this! When you jump on these lily pads, woo! You bounce! And then we got energy bars floating in space. Why? Why are they here? I mean, they taste like rattlesnake, and they make you feel all powered up. But, but still, you know. Yes, that's right. Hero energy bars for the hero in everyone. Giving heroes that extra energy boost since, well, last year. It's kind of spooky. They're just hanging in midair like that. <laughs> giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, and by the way, we're going to far, far away for your wedding ball. Your wedding ball! The invitation came while you were gone. Oh, did I forget to mention that? My bad. We can't leave till you get rid of all this hoodoo voodoo. Come on, let's get a move on. Time's a wasting. We got a wedding ball to clip in the clock, too. Go to it, boy. Oh, okay. I guess I need to pack. Oh, and one other thing. Donkey! I really haven't had a chance to tidy up with all these bright, tingly distractions. What was that? Donkey! Now, come on, Shrek. Don't get hung up on details. You gotta go get that poster down, man. And grab all the coinage on the way. And we gonna need Buku bankroll for far, far away. So make sure you get them all. Shrek, look! It's the FGM drive through where they sell magic potions and whatnot. They've been popping up everywhere. You've seen the commercials, right? Come on over to FGM Potions and Notions for the finest in sorcical paraphernalia. Introducing Frog Nog Supreme. Watch your enemies croak before your eyes. 40 weeks sleeping gas for a knockout of a knockout. May cause headache and limb loss. Or take their breath away with the repellent to repel all others. Be obnoxious. Make big problems into microscopic solutions with itsy bitsy dust. Now Genji 2% of survival free. Having a bad hair day? Unsightly blemishes? Try my See Me Not Invisibility Cream. Now available in new visible jars. And let's not forget get love's sweetest delight. One taste will melt the most brittle of hearts. Supplies are limited. Please call ahead. They don't call me fairy godmother for nothing. Visit your local FGM patient and nation drive through our supplies fast. FGM, no first, no words, all items and funds copyright. Fake godmother enterprises, limited corporate committee, real electing held. Existence of any advertised products in this ad, not a guarantee. Yeah, here's that rotten poster I was telling you about. Click your left mouse button to rip it down. Leave no poster untorn. Rumor is, somebody's offering a reward for people to rip down three of these posters. Hey, you should start a collection. Probably be worth something one day. You did it, Shrek! Everything back to normal! Who ordered the carriage? I don't have to tip this guy, do I? I did. Far, far away is so very far away. Everything is packed and ready to go. Ready to meet my parents? Uh, sure. Don't worry. They'll love you. Yeah, Shrek, they'll love you. I mean, I love you. What's there not to love? Uh, we're going on an adventure. We're going on an adventure. What could be more fun than going on a really, really, really long road trip with me? Uh, a root canal? Uh, having my nose hairs plucked out one by one? Are we there yet? How about now? <laughs> I was just kidding. Seriously though, now? You know what I've been thinking? We should start a band. Hey, that reminds me, who brought over? Shrek, doesn't this reek of an ambush? Actually, that might be me. That wedding invitation's kind of coming back on me. Sorry. Donkey! Yeah, sorry Shrek. Hey, look! That dude just ran off with our wheel! I'll go take a look. Shrek, please don't go out there! You heard what she said. There's something, something ambush. Relax, donkey. I'm an ogre. 
Unless you know of a four-legged beast who could carry all our luggage. Shrek, get out there and find that wheel, and hurry! And don't worry, trees fall all the time, every day, you'll be fine. Bandits! Shrek, let me help! No, please don't leave me! Ooh, Shrek, you showed them. Yeah, those bandits didn't stand a chance against you. First it was BAM, then it was KAPOW, then it was- I can't feel my legs, I can't feel my legs! Well, the wheel's back on. Guess we can resume this magical journey. Hey, Shrek, you looking a little green around the gills, man. Here, try a box of these. Maybe we can find some more of that stuff later. Now we just have that roadblock in the way. Could anything else go wrong today? Now, Shrek, for every problem, there's a solution. Say, you know, those logs look kind of weak and crackly. I bet you could combo punch our way out of here. Come on, hop to it, big guy. Finally, our heroes came to far, far away. Fiona's parents were quite curious to see what their new son-in-law looked like. Needless to say, Shrek failed to meet the royal expectations. Man, this is taking forever! Hey, if people wanted to read, they'd buy a book, all right? <sighs> to make a long story short, the king and Shrek sniped at each other over dinner. Making Fiona all sad. And suddenly, a fairy godmother appeared. You know what, Alistair? I got it from here. She's all like, oh, you can be beautiful again. Just marry my son, Prince Charming. But of course, Fiona's having none of it. Why? Two words. Shrek. So what does this nasty crone do? She goes to threaten the king instead. And the next morning, the king invited Shrek on a hunt. But all was not as it seemed. I, of course, smelled a rat right away. So I figured I'd tag along, you know, just to be on the safe side. Where is everybody? Man, I love hunts. This is gonna be great. But where are they all at? I am not sure. The king said to meet him by some tree. Oh, of course, a tree. Well, that should be easy. There's only about four million trees in the forest. In fact, I can't even see the forest for all these dead gum trees. I don't know. He must be around here somewhere. You get the feeling that we're being watched. Oh, what was that? Donkey, <gasps> I seriously doubt there's anything scarier in this forest than an ogre. Uh, ogres? Where? Oh, boy. Hello? Anybody there? I know I saw something that time. Hello out there? Okay, yeah, very funny. Let's scare the donkey. I'm going to check it out. Keep going that way, and I'll catch up with you. And if you see the king, tell him I'll be right there. Okay, but, but don't be long. I don't want you getting scared without me. I'll just keep going now. Deeper and deeper into this dark, creepy forest like the brave noble donkey that I am. <gasps> what was that? It looks like the only way I can lower that bridge is by kicking that rope over there. Maybe I can get that guy up there to help me. Mm, I fancy some nice fried donkey ears tonight. Okay, maybe not. I'd say this would be the perfect time to use some love potion. Or really any kind of potion, come to think of it. I'm gonna have to go up there and kick that rope down, potion or not. One guy is no match for a donkey with a black belt and button mashing. Free food. That's what I call a perfectly lucky and unsuspicious coincidence. Seeing as how I'm too hungry and all to think very clearly right now. Mm -hmm. It's too bad Shrek in here to get some too. Aw oh man, this is gonna hit the spot. such thing as a free lunch. Uh-oh. What trouble have you gotten yourself into there, donkey? Oh man, am I glad to see you! Oh! Thanks, Shrek. Must feel kind of weird to be the one saving me for a change. You need to stop thinking with your stomach, donkey, for five little seconds. <laughs> Consecutively? <laughs> oh, Shrek, you cracked me up. So where to? This way. Uh, donkey? Little less toward the trap, just a wee bit. Excellent. Thank you.
I gonna get my donkey butt across this water? Hmm. This is going to take some strategy. Looks like bear traps. Good thing I'm not a bear. Trick, you hear that? It's quiet. Too quiet? No. Woo, that was a close one. I'm God. Ooh. Oh my God, Shrek, help! It's a pirate with a tail and your lashes. Excuse me, I am a musketeer. My name is Puss. You are a pirate in galoshes. What are you talking about? I look good in this. These boots are Italian leather. They accentuate my... Enough! I am here to kill the ogre. Prepare to die. And now, senor, prepare to feel my blade's cold, sweet kiss. <coughs> Uh, are we supposed to pat him, or what? Nah, he's a goner. Let's just watch. Uh, oh, yeah, oh. Ah, gotcha! Who's in the cat box now? You have defeated me, senor. I await your pleasure. You heard the man, Shrek. Pleasure his awaitance. Take him down! Yeah! What? No, donkey. I don't hurt little kitty cats. Yeah, you do. You eat kitty cats for breakfast. You turn him inside out and wear up his hats! You pulverize him! You never! They make scratchy hats and they taste greasy! So be it! Then I must become your faithful companion. Uh, think again, hot sauce, cause that job is taken! As repayment for sparing my priceless storied life. After all, I was sent here to kill you. Sent here? By who? Why, the king, of course. I see, I knew it! I knew it! Never trust a cat who wears mink, Shrek! It's redundant, first of all. Why is the king so against Fiona and me living a happy life together? Oh, well, if all you want is happiness, then you need to see the fairy godmother. The offices of the most eminent one in all the land lie not far from here. Permit me to escort you thanks. Do you know how to get there? Si, senor. I have marked that territory many times. Happiness? <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Ogre. What's an ogre doing here? Uh, I'm here for my happily ever after. Cat said something, something. <laughs> Ogres don't get any happily ever afters. Now get out! I need that happily ever after portion. Yeah, that was stupid, wouldn't you say, put in boots? The blood of some women boils like lava. Oh, you, you look real fine in that suit, Shrek. Oh, thanks, Donkey. Let's get going. It's sweltering in this thing. I would wager half a stolen kiss. The potion we seek lies somewhere within that room. I should go. I am more graceful than you, smarter than the Donkey, and I can fit through those vents. You're right, Pussycat. You'll be able to climb the pipes and get through the vents. We'll hide in here while you go find the potion. Oh, and I spotted a lever over by that room on the right. Maybe it'll get you through the door. Too bad this uniform doesn't have a key card. I shall return successfully and with the utmost speed. Avoid the hazmat elves. Check. And the machinery. Check. And the mirrors. We not want to get distracted or anything. Let us go. Hurry, my friends. Was this part of the plan? Ah! Shrek, I'm trapped! Donkey! Oh, this was definitely not part of the plan! Donkey, you're going to have to find another way out! I think I saw another way out back in the main lab! Hurry, we'll meet you outside! 
was closer than anticipated. Who do we have to thank for that? Mr. Colbert Ops. Donkey, ease up. We've had enough fighting for one day. Perhaps now would be the ideal time to try the Happily Ever After potion. Huh. Are you sure you grabbed the right bottle? Of course I am sure. No, no, no. I mean, you know, what if this makes us all scaly or makes us grow another head out our butts? In your case, it would be an improvement and we would know the potion worked. Shut up! I'll try it! Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> well? Do I seem happier yet? I would try it, senor, but I am already perfection incarnate. Perhaps we should stress test it on the donkey. Give it a real workout. Who, who, me? Uh, uh, uh. Scared? Donkeys don't get scared, tuna breath. Oh, oh, oh. Irritating as ever. Forgive me, senor, we have failed. It didn't work. We annoyed all those elves for nothing. Ah, perhaps a plan B will suggest itself after a little beauty rest. And where are we going to stay for the night? A barn lies just on the other side of this forest. What? Barn? Oh, no, no, no. Donkeys don't do barns. We still have a long way to travel. We must make haste, my friends. That is, if the slow mule can keep up. Slow mule? Oh, bring it on, furball. I'd like to see you lose this donkey. I'll race you over the pass. Yeah! Eat my dust, kitty cat! Thanks for waiting up, guys! Oh well, maybe I'll get a little peace and quiet now. Shrek, what took you so long? Oh, I took the scenic route. Met some really friendly fellas along the way. You guys missed out. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever. Can we get out of the rain now? Man, I can't believe that stupid potion didn't work. It doesn't matter. I'll find another way to win Fiona back. Tell me, is this woman of yours worth it? She's the most beautiful, delicate flower to ever grace our world. It is hard for me to imagine such a creature tolerating the ring to which I am now exposed. You don't know Fiona. Oh man, Shrek! What? It was the cat! Do not make me kill you, Senor. Sorry. And so, our heroes who had failed to read the small print on the potion bottle, slept on. The next morning, it was discovered that the happily ever after potion had worked after all. And how. The fairy godmother may have been a witch in high heels, but she knew a thing or two about enchanted pharmaceuticals. Alistair! Alistair! I thought I told you faster, man! These people ain't got all day! Anyway, cutting to the chase here. Shrek and Fiona were the only ones with a hot new look. They had in their company one noble thief. I thank you. Now the ogre was transformed into a handsome prince, and the princess was beautiful again. Of course, this posed a small problem for the fairy godmother who had her sights on becoming Fiona's mother-in-law. So she had the king send his men to arrest us. Cut to prison scene in parentheses. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to read that part. Well, here we are. Shrek, I'm claustrophobic. I can't spend the rest of my life in a cell. I mean, look at this place. It's dark, it's slimy, it's stinky. Oh, Shrek, I think the walls are closing in. Yeah, Donkey, they'll do that. <gasps> look, I think I can slip through the grate and perhaps find a way to open the cell door. Oh, thank goodness, I was worried. Whew! I don't think I could have handled another second behind bars. I'll hold them off! You two get out of here! Boots in boots does not run from a fight. Does he run from certain death? Uh, yes, yes he does. Quite quickly, in fact. The time has come for us to part ways. You do what you do best. Go another way? Exactly. Try our Looking good, Shrek! Feeling good, Donkey. Need to wrap up a few things here. I'll meet you on the outside. Halt! Equine! Get thee back to the royal stables, afore the blunt of mine blade binds thy hindquarters! Sorry, no can do, Mr. Fancy pants -a lot. I got some places to be. I'm getting pretty good at this fighting thing. 
Well, if being this good looking is a crime, arrest me. I'll just bust out again. Whew! I don't think I could have handled another second behind bars. I'll hold them off! The time has come for us to part ways. You do what you do best. Go another way? Exactly. Try up. Ooh, halt! Flee, bitten lady! Forgive me, Clanky One. I have come through too much to be delayed by such as you. Do not take the battle. I'll hold them off! You two, get out of here! Normally me who stinks. Oh, I am deeply ashamed. Cheer up, we're almost out. Yeah, right. You said that in the last level. Looking good, Shrek. Feeling good, Donkey. Need to wrap up a few things here. I'll meet you on the outside. Yeah, you said that in my level. And do we have to keep saying the same lines over and over? What the? No, another one. Defend thyself, fiend. Love looks so easy on the reality shows. Whoa! Hello, dessert! Wed fever continued to rise in the swamp, and dear Fiona couldn't be happier. Her parents invited her and Shrek to far, far away so they could meet the handsome man she married. While packing for their long journey, Shrek realized he still needed some essentials for the trip. Look, I don't want to be late. Then I need help collecting eyeballs. It'll be a long journey, and nobody wants to see me hungry. Why don't we just get some parfaits? You know, ones with whipped cream. Oh, I love whipped cream. Ogres eat nature, not parfaits. What's all that, Shrek? I don't know, but there's chickens all over the place. This is my home, not a petting zoo. I'll call you Hecky. Name's Lil Red. I promised my grandmother I'd get some chickens for her to make soup. Will you help me? Grandma, it's me. I got the chickens for the soup. And I had help from my four new friends. Splendid. Now, if your friends will fetch me some blackbirds, I'll make them the best blackbird pie they ever tasted. Shrek's starving for some great pie, and an old shut-in wants to make it for him. But who will be able to bring home the blackbird? Fiona doll, it's your hero time! Well, it's been fun, guys, but I have a blind date. She might be my sugar cookie. Got room in the carriage? I've got a game to pitch in Far, Far Away. So, they came upon a dark, creepy forest. And as if that weren't reason enough to turn back, an evil witch flew above them. Seeing the carriage horses were enchanted, the wicked witch turned them back into mice. For witches need mice for their witchery. The wicked witch then left a trail of cheese, so the mice would be led to her doorstep and into her boiling pot, because she is really wicked. I could tell you some stories. We have been rudely turned back into mice. Yes, I can see that. No, you can't. By Jove, that smells like cheese. Great. Now we need another potion to turn them back. We'll never make it there. Relax. The Wicked Witch's place is that way. Excuse me. Wicked Witches, Spooky Trees, Crazy Mice on a Lactose Binge. We are doomed! Shut it, Donkey. Now, how's this gate open? You don't have to go back to your castle, but you can't stay here. Welcome, Rose. And what are you gonna do about it, Tin Man? 
Shrek, come here. How did that get up here? Dragon and I flew in here. Mad fire breathing beauty. Don't worry, we'll save Fiona. I save the princess. We save the princess. We save the princess. Yeah. So a nervous Shrek waited to meet Fiona's parents, King Harold and Queen Lillian. Hoping to impress them, Shrek even remembered to trim his nose hairs. After that minor stumble, the king and queen got along famously with Shrek, welcoming him with the tolerance, love, and affection usually reserved for pop stars and heads of state, or not. King Harold made it clear he wanted Fiona to marry Prince Charming and wasn't so fond of his fat, disgusting, nose-picking son-in-law. Shrek made it clear he loved Fiona and no pompous king was going to blatantly mock his ogre girth. Fiona and Queen Lillian were eventually able to break up the fight. The king was approached by Fairy Godmother, who was a powerful provider of happily ever afters, and a lot of people owed her favors. She makes offers you can't refuse and can make people disappear, literally. You understand where I'm going with this, right? Because she could leave me sleeping with the fishes if I said too much, and mirrors and fish don't mix. <laughs> Trust me. In the morning, tempers appeared to have cooled, and King Harold offered to show our group around far, far away. Welcome to Far, Far Away. Fabulous shopping, great view, beautiful people. Why don't you make yourselves useful and be my deputies? Deputy Shrek, at your service. Congratulations, Shrek. You're quite resilient. Fiona, why don't you show the others back to the castle? Curses! Plan B, then. Go to the poison apple and hire the ogre killer. After a long day of saving fried chicken, stopping an inner city ride, and helping a wannabe princess get her shopping done, our hero headed back to the king's castle for a good night's sleep. Poor Shrek's evening would take a turn for the worse as he stumbled across Fiona's childhood diary. A devastated Shrek spent the night reading about Princess Fiona's dream of marrying a handsome prince with washboard abs, a chiseled chin, impeccable hygiene, uh, in short, the anti-Shrek. Tired of being green and feeling ugly, Shrek decided to take a walk in the woods as his friends tried to cheer him up. Now, Jihoka, pray for mercy from Puss! Boots. Well, you've been a bad little kitty. Please, do not terminate me. I can take you to the Grande Fairy Madre. She is the answer to all your problems. And so, hoping to solve Shrek's problems, our gang moved forward to Fairy Godmother's house, which was known for two things. Its pre-war colonial charm and the impossibility of getting inside without an appointment. The only appointments today are Miss Hood and a package from Jack and Jill's farm. Oh, I have an idea. We can intercept that package from the farm. Better yet, we can go to the farm and get the package. Yeah! <laughs> so, our heroes found themselves overlooking miles of rolling farmland. For it seems the water Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch had magical properties. Despite Jack's broken crown and a possible skull fracture, he and Jill realized organic farming could make them a lot of gold. And they were right, because really, who doesn't like a nice, juicy, all-natural salad the size of a dragon? A really fat dragon. I mean, seriously, look at those carrots. That's a big salad. Hey, you are Jack and Jill. No, we are taking care of this place as Jack and Jill are on vacation. Yeah, but we are not so good. We are lazy and pig out all day. Can you help us with some chores? Only if one of those chores includes delivering the package to Fairy Godmother's house. You've got a deal. Just walk around the farm and look for one of us to get another chore. Thank you for fixing the farm. Jack would have made chops out of us if you didn't help. Yeah. 
Now take this delivery to Fairy Godmother. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna stay behind and get some flour. So Shrek finally got his chance to ask the Fairy Godmother for a happily ever after potion. But he didn't just ask her. He showed her why he deserved one. He showed her everything from gadgets to gadgets, a graph, a pie chart, and a pie to go with it. He showed her numbers, statistics, blind jabbits, and widgets. He even showed her a couple of midgets. But the fairy godmother told him ogres aren't allowed to have happily ever afters. And so, her answer was... No! And now, ogre, you must go. Hey guys, I got my potion! Well, apparently ogres don't get happily ever afters. We should just go in there and take it. I know where the potions are. Follow me. You! Run! I'll hold her off! The fairy godmother is one angry pixie and only Lil Red and her basket of apples can clip her wings. I think we all know what that means. Yep, it's... Hero time! Good job, but she'll be back, you know. And usually the coming back is followed by the evil spell casting, which is only fun if you want to spend the rest of your life a toilet brush. You might want to get back and help Shrek. Wonderful, you're all back together. Now I can turn you all into rancid rump roast. I will defend us from this evil witch. Kitty, she'll take five of your lives. Let's get out of here! Okay, we are safe here. It can't sense us, these things. Yeah, you couldn't sense a bowl of milk if you were sitting in it. <laughs> oh, get you, Shrek. Ha ha ha! Run! Okay, let's get out of here and make sure the potion works. No one knew what the potion would do. After Donkey did a taste test, Shrek chugged the potion, hoping it contained a happily ever after for him and Fiona. Nothing happened, at least at first. But then, in the middle of the rainy night, something unexpected happened. Shrek and Donkey underwent a massive transformation. Shrek was as handsome as a prince, and Donkey his noble steed. Things seemed to be going great as the gang said thanks and goodbye to Lil Red for now. But... After Shrek drank her potion, Fairy Godmother knew her son, Prince Charming, had a handsome rival for Fiona's affection. So she made sure he was locked away in the deepest, darkest dungeon of a faraway prison where no escape was possible. What Fairy Godmother didn't count on was Shrek's friends finding out about his arrest through a concerned and extremely benevolent third party. So a jailbreak was planned, one that would most certainly test the fellowship of this thing. All right, listen up! No. The mice will sneak into the warden's office and get the keys to free the boy! But they're blind. <coughs> Pardon you! Oh, here they are, just hanging around. Come on, Wolf, no time to spare. We gotta get back to Far Far Away before that fat lady sings. How are we gonna get them out of there? Dressed for bed, but ready for action, Big Bad Wolf! What? I know, I know, it's hero time. Uh, uh, yes, well, Wolf, your hero time is full of fabulous prizes and the key to free your pals. But in order to free your pals, you must survive the Staircase of Doom! Get ready for hero time! The only thing now standing between Shrek and Far Far Away was Mount Grimm, known amongst mountaineers as the heaping ginormous mound o rubble o death Big Bad Wolf, claiming to have been a Big Bad Sherpa in his puppyhood, knew a shortcut. <laughs> Why go over a mountain when you can go through it? And remember, if Shrek and the bunch don't move fast, Prince Charmy will kiss our unsuspecting Fiona, and Shrek will lose Fiona forever.
Our special charge will get us through. Oh, stone warriors, you are my aces. Pound those smiles right off their faces! Gosh,ness, oh safeness, she's alive! Yeah! Not so fast. Ooh. Fiona will marry Prince Charming. And you can all take a dirt nap. Stop me this time, but I'll get you, and you little donkey too. Now on to far, far away, and my fair, fair Fiona. Handsome and the crew made their way to far, far away. They arrived to find Gingerbread Man brought a little friend. Well, okay, a big friend. Unbeknownst to the crew, Gingerbread Man had whipped up a monstrous cookie creation to help defeat Fairy Godmother. Unfortunately, his weapon of mass destruction turned out to be a mass of doughy devastation. Help! Knights are attacking the giant cookie but destroying the city! Only you can put out the fires. We'll take care of this. Great. I'm going on a porridge break. Meet me at the trucks when you're done. <laughs> Things were about to get ugly. If Shrek and Fiona didn't kiss before midnight, they would be transformed back into ogre form. But what do you know? Those crazy kids decided to go for the ugly. Love can make you do some pretty strange things. <laughs> if you don't like awkward kissing scenes, then turn your head. <laughs> Now that's more like it. You're beautiful. And you are truly handsome, Shrek. Oh no! Why? 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 Um, I think my carriage is double parked. You're not going anywhere, you incompetent little toad. Ribbit! Hey, Toots! My father like that? I will never marry your son. Looks like we got our happily ever after without your help. <laughs> Guess you underestimated us. The only things I underestimated were trolls and elves. If you want something evil done right, you have to do it your evil self. We kick this dog to the curb or to the tree, whatever. That's it. I'm sending you straight to the glue factory. What do you know? I can be beaten. I'm gonna need a whole box of tissue. <sighs> Loafers make the world go round. Well, Shrek and Fiona got their happily ever after, after all. Now put down the controller and go outside to play. We're done. Really, it's over. That is all, uh, folks. <laughs> Fiona's parents were quite curious to see what their new son-in-law looked like. Needless to say, Shrek failed to meet the royal expectations. This is taking forever. Hey, if people wanted to read, they'd buy a book, all right? <sighs> to make a long story short, the king and Shrek sniped at each other over dinner. Making Fiona all sad.
and suddenly a fairy godmother appeared. Yeah, you know what, Alistair? I got it from here. She's all like, oh, you can be beautiful again. Just marry my son, Prince Charming. But of course, Fiona's having none of it. Why? Two words. Sha-wreck. So what does this nasty crone do? She goes to threaten the king instead. And the next morning, the king invited Shrek on a hunt. But all was not as it seemed. I, of course, smelled a rat right away. So I figured I'd tag along, you know, just to be on the safe side. Where is everybody? Man, I love hunts. This is gonna be great. But where are they all at? I'm not sure. The king said to meet him by some tree. Oh, of course, a tree. Well, that should be easy. There's only about four million trees in the forest. In fact, I can't even see the forest for all these dead gum trees. I don't know. He must be around here somewhere. You get the feeling that we're being watched. Oh, what was that? Donkey, I seriously doubt there's anything scarier in this forest than an ogre. Uh, ogres? Where? Oh, boy. Hello? Anybody there? I know I saw something that time. Hello out there? Okay, yeah, very funny. Let's scare the donkey. I'm going to check it out. Keep going that way, and I'll catch up with you. And if you see the king, tell him I'll be right there. Okay, but, but don't be long. I don't want you getting scared without me. I'll just keep going now. Deeper and deeper into this dark, creepy forest like the brave noble donkey that I am. <gasps> what was that? Ooh, look at those pumpkins. Go over to them and click your left mouse button to pick them up. Click your left mouse button again to throw them before they... <laughs> Looks like the only way I can lower that bridge is by kicking that rope over there. Maybe I can get that guy up there to help me. I fancy some nice fried donkey ears tonight. Okay, maybe not. I say this would be the perfect time to use some love potion. Or really any kind of potion, come to think of it. I'm gonna have to go up there and kick that rope down, potion or not. One guy is no match for a donkey with a black belt in button. That bale of hay will break my fall, it's not just count me out. Donkey Brigade. I do not like me. The end. Semicolon. And then press the left mouse button while I'm in the air, and I'll do a jump attack. That's what I call a perfectly lucky and unsuspicious coincidence. Seeing as how I'm too hungry and all to think very clearly right now. Mm -hmm. It's too bad Shrek isn't here to get some too. Oh man, this is gonna hit the spot! Ah, Shrek! Hell, they got me! I knew it! There's no such thing as a free lunch! Uh-oh. What trouble have you gotten yourself into there, donkey? Oh man, am I glad to see you! Kind of weird to be the one saving me for a change. You need to stop thinking with your stomach, Donkey, for five little seconds. <laughs> Consecutively? <laughs> oh, Shrek, you cracked me up. So where to? This way. Uh, Donkey? Little less toward the trap, just a wee bit. Excellent. Thank you. I'm gonna get my donkey butt across this water. This is going to take some <laughs> Looks like bear traps. Good thing I'm not. Whoa! That's one giant pumpkin! Fight pumpkins with pumpkins, I always say. Let's turn you into a pump. Flat top mushrooms. You know, my Uncle Clarence mentioned these one time. I can still hear him like it was yesterday. Red is bad, green is good. So I just need to jump on them when they're...
All right, contestant, race through this level and collect as many coins as you can. You're on a strict time limit, so no clowning around like the rest of the game. Start the clock and go. Trey, you hear that? It's quiet. Too quiet? No. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh. I'm God. Oh my God, Shrek! Help! There's a pirate with a tail and galoshes. Excuse me. I am a Oscarty. My name is Puss in Boots. You are a pirate in galoshes. What are you talking about? I look good in this. These boots are Italian leather. They accentuate my enough. I am here to kill the ogre. Prepare to die. All right, Shrek, doing good. Just keep it over there, away from me. And now, senor, prepare to feel my blade's cold, sweet kiss. <coughs> uh, are we supposed to pat him, or what? Nah, he's a goner. Let's just watch. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ha! Gotcha! Who's in the cat box now? You have defeated me, senor. I await your pleasure. You heard the man, Shrek. Pleasure his awaitance. Take him down. Yeah! What? No, donkey. I don't hurt little kitty cats. Yeah, you do. You eat kitty cats for breakfast. You turn them inside out and wear them as hats. You pulverize them. Yeah. You never. They make scratchy hats and they taste greasy. So be it. Then I must become your faithful companion. Uh, think again, hot sauce, because that job is taken. As repayment for sparing my priceless story life. After all, I was sent here to kill you. Sent here? By who? Why, the king, of course. I see, I knew it. I knew it. Never trust a cat who wears mink, Shrek. It's redundant, first of all. Why is the king so against Fiona and me living a happy life together? Oh, well, if all you want is happiness, then you need to see the fairy godmother. The offices of the most eminent one in all the land lie not far from here. Permit me to escort you thanks. Do you know how to get there? Si, senor. I have marked that territory many times. Happiness? That's a no-brainer. What's an ogre doing here? Uh, I'm here for my happily ever after. Cat said something, something. Ogres don't get any happily ever afters. Now get out! I need that happily ever after portion. Yeah, that was stupid, wouldn't you say, puss in boots? The blood of some women boils like lava. Real fan of that suit, Shrek. Oh, thanks, Donkey. Let's get going. It's sweltering in this thing. I would wager half a stolen kiss. The potion we seek lies somewhere within that room. I should go. I am more graceful than you, smarter than the Donkey, and I can fit through those fences. You're right, Pussycat. You'll be able to climb the pipes and get through the vents. We'll hide in here while you go find the potion. Oh, and I spotted a lever over by that room on the right. Maybe it'll get you through the door. Too bad this uniform doesn't have a key card. I shall return successfully and with the utmost speed. Avoid the hazmat elves. Check. And the machinery. Check. And the mirrors. You want to get distracted or anything. Vent 